Oh, I just realised I've still got my shades on. I thought I took them. I had to run out to the shops earlier and it's really bright outside and I forgot I had those on. No wonder everything looks so uh, so dark. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, yeah, I thought I'd do a just chatting stream because it's been a year since I first did a stream on Twitch and also... Uh, since I first started creating content for YouTube and um, yeah I thought I'd do a stream to kind of like see where I've come from basically and it was uh, during the last lockdown uh, I already had a, a PC for gaming on um, it wasn't really up to much uh, it was a, a PC that I'd bought off eBay for about eight quid. And I just wanted, when I got that, I just wanted something that I could play some basic games on and uh, that I could just just use. I and mean, it was no more powerful than a crappy laptop. Um, and I'd, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd always intended to upgrade it and build it up. And the last lockdown gave me the opportunity to do that. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't exactly stable for me at the time because I'd um, recently been gone through like a, a traumatic experience as well, where just before the lockdown hit, uh, I had a home invasion and uh, I had like people at the front and the back door, like kicking my door in. Um, their intention was to either stick me in a hospital or stick me in a grave. Uh, it was basically a, a transphobic hate crime. And uh, yeah, at the time uh, when I built my computer, I was staying with friends. And uh, yeah, it was the building, building a computer was something that I was was doing sort of, kind of to keep me going, like give me something to do, because uh, not <laughs> I'd only just moved, just um started staying with my friends when lockdown hit and yeah I'm basically isolated in yeah around my friends around my friend's house uh, I'm staying in the spare room which is all filled up with boxes and um, yeah I um, started getting quite depressed with it and yeah I built my computer to well to game on because I, I just enjoy gaming and um then I like kind of decided that I was going to build equipment up to start making YouTube videos and that, mostly inspired by Jacksepticeye and Markiplier. And it's like while I was there working out what I needed and how I was going to go about it, um, like other people were suggesting Twitch to me. And I didn't really understand Twitch at the time. Um, and mainly because I... Like I didn't see the the app wasn't on many TVs and stuff. Um, I didn't see it as overly viable at the time. I thought I saw it as more as something that people, yeah, you know, just did through their consoles. I didn't realize actually how big it was on PC and that. And but I I thought like yeah I'll do a little bit of streaming on there as well. I wasn't really doing too well. I didn't really understand the whole um, community side of it. But um, if I go and flip over to my other screen, I can show you the setup of what I had at the time. So I was doing everything through my HDTV. Um, the, I was using another webcam just before this one. Um, yeah, this one here, because I, I, I had a different webcam to begin with. Uh, in fact, you can't see that in there. Let me... Uh, turn the camera off there a second uh where are you crappy cam there you are so yeah um I w when i initially started i was using a different webcam which was sold as a hd webcam and turned out not to not be um and i'd got this green screen which was held up with like a basically a piece of piece of string going from a curtain pole across the room the curtains weren't heavy enough to block the light out from outside, so I had this sheet over the uh, the um, <laughs> over the curtains as well to 
like block as much light out as I could. And it's like my mic stand was attached to the end of my bed. And that was that was pretty much like what I originally started streaming with. Um wasn't exactly comfortable doing it all off uh, off a sat on a bed using a fold out camping table but uh that was what i had to what i had to work with at the time and then it was um short while after that um i had to i had to leave my friend's house because they basically their landlord had said to them like yeah they're going to have to leave because you're in violation of your tenancy agreement and then um after that uh i ended up then I ended up then um, staying in a and b So in the B&B, that was, uh, yeah, interesting. So this is how I had things set up in the B&B. Um, again, not very comfortable. Um, I had to use like a small mic stand for my mic. Uh, I mean, just behind, just behind here, uh, you could just make out the top of it. There was like a, this tiny TV. It was only like about twelve inches or something like that. That was um, that was bolted to the wall, and um, yeah, it it was practically useless. But like while I was staying here, I wasn't really I wasn't doing any streaming or anything as such. Uh, same with like making YouTube videos. I was like quite depressed at the time, but I had arranged to do a 24 hour charity stream for dementia uk which i did from the bnb um i did move things around a bit uh like i moved the um i moved my tv onto the side here and then it's like i kind of took their tv off the wall and put it like like sat it down here uh and then it's like i pulled a chair up here and then i, I did the stream from uh from the bnb and of course, they had no internet access, so that was all done through my mobile phone. Um, so we'll get to see some of that in a minute. But yeah, that there, uh, I was also like really worried at the time of like, would I be disturbing the, um, would I be disturbing the other people staying in the B&B? &B? Uh, thankfully, I wasn't there for too long. And uh, I ended up moving then into a uh, into a place that the council had um, got for me, uh, where I continued to build my setup, and I eventually I got some uh, acoustic foam panels, and uh, got my um, uh, got some monitors. Um, managed to get my proper speakers set up to it, uh, and yeah, this was the this was how my setup was then. Um, I then had to move again quite recently. Like I moved, uh, moved down to Cornwall to help my mum out. So I'm, I'm kind of living in my mum's, uh, living in my mum's house now, um, to help my mum out. And the setup is pretty much exactly the same. The, the only, I haven't got any photos of it. The only difference is, is that in this room, there's an alcove just here. So I've got my PC sat in this alcove, but everything else about this setup is the same. Um, well, I mean, I have changed the mic stand. I've now got like a, a proper boom mic stand, which is to the side here, which comes across. So that that's a bit different. Like this this thing here, because it kept falling off the desk. I um I put it away because it just uh yeah it. I constantly had this problem of it falling out, uh, falling down. And like with some of the YouTube videos I uploaded, I did manage to edit that side of it out. But um, uh, yeah, going on to what I, when I first originally, no, I don't want to play all, I just want to look at the playlist. Yeah, my, my first ever stream on Twitch uh, was a game called I Am Bread which is surprisingly one of my more popular videos on uh, on YouTube. Um, bear with me while I try and get the uh, content thing up. And I'll start like right at the back then. Because I've got, uh, can I show 50 at a time? 
trying to see what I can what I can show on screen. So yeah, I think I can get away with showing all this. It won't matter. So yeah, everything that I everything that I streamed, I uploaded onto YouTube. But like it, my focus at the time was was YouTube. I wanted to create. Uh, I wanted to make like my videos for YouTube. I the streaming kind of took uh, a back seat to it all. Hey, Crunchyroll, how are you? Or cozy, cozy Crunchyroll. I keep on saying Crunch, uh, Crunchyroll, and it's yeah, getting your name wrong. Yeah, the um, okay. I I wasn't expecting it to actually have eighty nine percent. Oh no, that's just the likes. But view time on that is probably really cack, but. It's the same with a lot of my YouTube content. Um, most people watch like five minutes of it and then drop off. But yeah, it's one of my uh, my first ever video is one of my more popular ones. And um, yeah, it was I was extremely nervous at the time when I when I did this one. Um, um, that's not the screen I wanted. Oh, have you just taken me right back to the beginning? No. So bring this one up hey everyone oh hang Welcome on i've still got my speakers on bread uh this is the first time no no let me start that again i don't want to right can hey, i everyone. Welcome to turn the crappy cam off uh this is the first time um i've played it and it comes at the recommendation uh, of a friend of mine on facebook uh, I have seen a few people playing this um, on YouTube, so I have a vague idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, you can. I think my nervousness comes across here, and I so said I'm sat on a bed doing this with a to green screen. Toast. But this was the first ever thing that I'd streamed on Twitch, and. Yeah, also my first YouTube video. I had no one in chat. It was actually a very long time before I actually started getting people in chat. So, yeah, it's... Um, I can see myself not being very good at this. Um, there's a lot of all. them in and are in. It appears I'm already getting covered in beans. It's like whenever I, 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 I'm not as cringy as most people are when they look at like their first, uh, first YouTube videos or whatever, but um, I still like I don't like watching this because it's yeah it's, I I I think it's one of my worst videos, but. The background, uh, the background that I've got here for my uh, for my window, um, I wanted something that looked a bit different, but also like familiar. I didn't realise actually how small I'd made it. Yeah, you, know, you can't really see <laughs> see me in the corner there. Uh, but the actual background there that I've used for my green screen, um, I just uh, looked for a picture of like a distressed brick wall and then it's like uh, I kind of applied light filters to it and blurred it out to try and make it look a bit more realistic but not talking very much in this video at all but for some reason it's one of my more popular ones um, as for the thumbnail of that uh, I wanted I wanted a thumbnail for it and I went quickly went downstairs at my friend's house and just grabbed like a load of bread and just jammed it all in the toaster and, and took a photo of it uh, then I also had this idea as well for a series um, which I only did I think three videos for it because um, I yeah I didn't wasn't sure that it was actually that popular uh but i had this idea for just doing a um a series that was like showing just basically the the sort of deals that you could get on youtube because people were always arguing you know the whole pc master race thing and 
people were on console saying it's like yeah but pc gaming is prohibitively expensive you know it, it costs a fortune for the computer itself and the games are no cheaper so i wanted to show that there was like um some actually really good games on steam for less than five quid and i don't mean like within steam sales just like just in general and i so i, I thought i'd do this series like exploring what, uh, whatever i could find for less than five quid originally i was going to do it for like just games that were less than one pound um i mean no console is a valid choice uh i'm not you know I, i'm not one of i'm not one of the pc master race people but um in general, though, PC gaming can actually work out cheaper, even when you're forking out like a thousand pound for a, a PC. When you when you take Epic Games into account, uh, I mean, what's it? One of the games they're giving away this week is Saints Row. I think Saints Row the Third Remastered, which is like forty quid's worth a game, and they're giving that away. And they every week they're giving away a game, which is not some cheap game. Sometimes it's like a twenty quid game, but most of the time, it's you know they're, they're actually you know thirty quid or above. My the the free games I've had off of Epic have paid for my my PC like a couple of times over now. But yeah, I I wanted to do this series that was kind of um, exploring the uh, like the the really cheap games that you would find on Steam. And the this is like the first time that you hear what is my theme tune. Uh, I mean, it's yeah, it is Steam early. It's always no, been a good. It's early on, but I needed something for it, and it's like I've done this intro for it, and I hate it. I hate it. It's like I wasn't confident without confident with how my voice sounded over the microphone, and I absolutely despise this this intro. Steam has always been a good place to build your gaming collection. Be it modern AAA titles or old school retro classics, Steam has an extensive catalogue catering for all sorts of tastes. And their regular specials and bundle deals means your gaming hobby doesn't have to leave you broke. As of 2019, Steam is host to over 35,000 games, many of which can be found in their under £4 section, a hive of absolute abominations and insults to gaming. But, hidden amongst all the hentai-based roleplays, waifu simulators, and yif-themed pong games, there exists a few diamonds in the rough. Hey everyone, welcome to my new series where I go dumpster diving in the £4 section in Steam looking for hidden treasure. Today I'm going to be looking at Gomo, which I managed to pick up for 39p. So I picked this game out because the aesthetic of it kind of reminded me of Salad Fingers uh, and it's a series I watched back before the days of YouTube um, and I really enjoyed it. Bear with me a minute, I'm just going to, there we go, I'm not so interfering on that. But yeah, um, this here again. You can see that I'd realised that I had a bit of I uh, had an issue with the sizing of the the window, so I've made it bigger. Uh, I mean, it goes through like you know, it goes bigger and smaller throughout like uh, a lot of the earlier stuff. But you can see clearer like uh, what so I've this done game with is the background a here. Simple point and click puzzle game. Uh, it's had mixed reviews. Like some people saying it was too easy. Um, but I like to see for myself what a game is like. I would agree with it that, that it was those reviews saying that it was too easy, but it is a kid's game. And it... I got bored of it. Uh, I can't even remember well, if I completed it TV. in this stream. Um, but mm -hmm. it's like... It, it just felt like the same... Oh, it's going to take ages to load up now, isn't it? It just felt like the same sort of thing like all the way along. And I'm pretty sure that, like... Because this is still quite early-ish in the game. Like, as you can see, the stream's only... The, the stream, the, the edit really? is only 10 minutes long. But it's basically... Because there's so much of me just doing nothing and just... 
it just it was just oh. dull. So yeah, I mean, I'd also as well at this point, I hadn't, I didn't know how to do um, the end screens. So like none of my videos at this point, I don't think any of them have the end screens or anything. Uh, so it's like, yeah, it's basically I would play a bit of the game and then do a okay, review so on it. Okay, so my thoughts on GOMO, the aesthetic of it, it was absolutely beautiful. And I would love to have seen it as a platformer game. Uh, as far as a point-and-click adventure, uh, for me it was way too simple. But if you have kids, uh, 39p definitely wouldn't be wasted on buying this for your kids. Uh, it's available on Steam until the 10th of its September at 39p, at which, at which point it goes back up to £3.99. But it was somewhat entertaining but for myself uh, who has ADHD it didn't really grip me too well I might pick it up and play it again sometime but I see it more as something to pass the time rather than get involved in but if you liked what you saw go out and buy it yeah. and if you... again you can kind of see there that my uh, my confidence still wasn't there yet um and it's like i like i say i was streaming on twitch as well um but i wasn't really yeah i, I hadn't really figured out like exactly how to go about things so the the routine that i sort of had was that i was um I would stream X3 Reunion on a Friday and then I'd have like a little video. Uh, yeah, I'll do a short, short stream just before it as like a warm up to it. So um, when I streamed I Am Bread, I'd streamed that for about an hour. And then I did a, I think it was a three hour stream of um, X3 Reunion. Um and I also hadn't worked out how to do the game, the the leveling, the snagged on Steam video. That that one there was one that I'd done just for YouTube. Uh, that one there wasn't streamed, but um, so I did the I am bread, and then I'd like go on to um, X three so reunion. This game here was the one that got me into the X series. It's, so again, this is and why the window here is so this, so um, small on, on their it. computer. Uh, and it instantly reminded Hello, me and to oh, wait until this is finished. In this program, we look at the cock war and ask the question, why? Here in this bid, we witness so, the first Still trying to get used to OBS and everything <coughs> here and just not used to it. And, whilst there has been no major attack on and it's of course like my microphone was up my microphone. My, my, uh, I'm watching, doing this on a TV with like my webcam like really high. And it's like one of the reasons I stopped using a green screen was because of wearing glasses. Uh, one of the issues I had was whenever I'd play a game that had um, green on it, you know, it would it would reflect off my glasses. So then, like everything around my eyes would all go like really weird, and you would see like it would always be like you're just looking through my skull to the background behind me, and. Yeah, constantly like looking down at other things like my phone, like checking whether my feed's working because I've only got like the one screen to work off as well uh, while I was doing this. But again, like confidence and everything, not through Steam, not very high. Um, but yeah, most of the issues and that I believe are. I was having issues with the screen to, um, pausing and stuff Windows like that. 10. And I was using a. Uh, if it does an, crash, was it an uh, RX, uh, an RX five fifty? graphics card as well so uh, yeah again hadn't worked out all the issues i was streaming initially i think in 1080p and it just yeah it just wasn't working i worked out then like lower the frame rates and lower the um lower the dpi for that that particular graphics card <coughs> and yeah i then the week after i'd um 
decided to play a you know, different game for a warm up because I yeah you know, I am bred it didn't really come across as one that you'd constantly play. It felt like something that was like a, a one off and it was a uh something that I'd yeah it was kind of like I'll, oh, I'll play this as a warm up and then play more serious and then I decided to do like um it would be a good idea to do like a warm up game before doing um X3. So I then, yeah, you know, I then like I was like picking out a game for that, and um, I picked um, <laughs> I picked uh, uh, what was it called? Um, game Dev Tycoon. And my thought behind this when I when I did this, I wanted to be stupid with it. I I wanted to be silly and uh, not take the game seriously. I um, yeah. You know, little bit of influence from let's game it out because i mean i love that youtube channel he his uh his stuff uh i just think it's hilarious how he, he would just take a game and just try and ruin it like he, he'll he try and break it like purposely placing things where they shouldn't go um or like you know building so like building conveyor belts all over the place that seem to go nowhere um making like making characters just really extreme with the uh with the settings to make them look as stupid as possible i really like that so i i decided that i was going to hey everyone uh, play this game out. with uh i think what was it Z uh, no um yeah I, I decided to play this game where i would only make text adventures so or text based games and i think this as well uh was the first one where i'd actually you know worked out that i could switch scenes again like no stream deck or anything like that it's all done off the off the screen um you know off off a mouse and keyboard and one screen so like controlling all this was wasn't easy so quite often I yeah you know, even when I'd figured out that I could change scenes I would have it like uh, I would change scene and then it would stay on the on the scene for the whole thing and you can see more with the screen here blowing up you can tell that I'm using a green screen because like the the anti liaising around the side here is absolutely terrible and bear in mind as well this was on a really not a very good camera this was on a I think it was a 440p camera, um, which, like I said, when I bought it, it was sold as a HD. You know, I was expecting a 1080p camera. But, uh, yeah, this is how everything was coming out. So even even with my hair here uh, on my face, it's it's the amount of liaising going on there. It's terrible. Pixelated to hell. Um, but you can see with what I did with the background... Um, yeah, I tried to make it look as natural and, and real as possible. I wanted to make it look like I was sat there. Like, you can tell it isn't because the lighting on myself doesn't match. Like, if I had, like, some kind of little pink light behind me coming up behind, it might look a bit more real. Same on here with, like, a blue light to one side. Um, It might look a little bit more real. But I had this I had this image in my head that this, this sort of style in the background was was what i wanted when i eventually got a home yeah i wanted to have this i wanted to have like something you know something with a very similar feel which very much is not what i've got behind me here um i am intending to go out and get some wallpaper that's very similar to like the, the style like the brick uh the brick stuff here um but yeah, there's not much I can really do at the moment with the with the size of this room and the fact that I'm having a stream from my bedroom. But um yeah, again, uh you probably notice as well that I'm I don't wear make I don't seem to wear makeup anymore. I kind of got um a bit fed up with putting makeup on every time I do a stream, especially now that I'm streaming most days. Uh same with like the recordings and that, like um I would tend to do like a recording of a game um, for YouTube where I'd record like several episodes in one go. So it didn't 
it wasn't as bad like putting the makeup on and then like recording multiple episodes in one go um because then it's like i'm not going through makeup like loads i didn't want to be using it every day which is why i don't really bother with the, the makeup now hey everyone uh, thank you for tuning in i'm going to be running game dev tycoon with a bit of a twist to it i suppose um but yeah i'm going to be playing this uh with the again a lot of um and an r in i'll probably still um and r but i don't think i'll um and r anywhere near as bad so as welcome i did to then game dev tycoon in this business simulation you've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the pc revolution in the next 35 years you can build your dream company create the best-selling games gain fans and become the leader of the market before you can start your adventure, you have to give your up-and-coming company a name. Hope you can read. Okay, Again, so a bit of an game. influence there from uh, Let's Game It Out, where as I'm typing it in there, I'm like zooming in on the on what I'm <laughs> what I'm typing in, uh, and that that was like an afterthought as well. Uh, because you can clearly see, obviously, when it does that, that you can't... I'm not there when... Uh... Uh, let's go back a bit. Find a game you want to create and give your game a name. You... Game. Before development can begin, you have, have to gone... decide what kind of game... Yeah. So as, as it comes in, you, you can clearly see you that give you a up -and I've just zoomed in name. on whatever video was recorded, Hope so... You can read. I don't have the... Um... I don't have the, the camera and the video separate. Again, I didn't know how to do that. And I found more recently that it is possible to do that with, with OBS. Um, that you can you can stream one thing and record something else. And yeah, it's again, like another thing I didn't really think of at the time was recording the video on my mobile phone. And recording the game separate, but then like eventually, like there's a few few videos where I did do that, but um, incidentally, the software that I'm using to do all the editing on this is a free piece of software called uh, KDN Live. But yeah, um, like I say, you can clearly see like the influence so from game. Let's Game It Out Before there, where I game, wanted to, to give stupid kind of titles to the games. I wanted them game to. Name. You can also be stupid things and i was like really not use. taking the game serious so waste of money pick topic uh let's make it a romantic one uh let's make it an action <laughs> and we're gonna have it on the we'll go with the g64 Text based, obviously. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important blah, for blah, your blah, game blah, blah, blah. and decre uh, decrease the focus on areas you think yeah, are less a thing important. Like, uh, so like Play, doing the game's really parameters, good. I turn the graphics to crap. And no, it doesn't mention rescan. Oh, These the points become less... Bit where you get your feedback. The thing is, this is all still tutorial, hmm. isn't it? Uh, artificial intelligence, nah. No, it's going to take ages to skip to that bit. Until your game is now finished, well developed. Here we go. Yeah, I think this is where the, the scores come in. <laughs> <laughs> I still have nightmares. Bad. Oh, come on. Does no one like a romantic action game? Hope You Can Read, a newcomer to the game industry, has just released their first game, Nate Waste of Money. The game not generally low scores from reviewers, but with a bit of experience, we are sure that they will see better games from Hope You Can Read in the future. So mm, I think like one of the games I did on this one as well. Um, Who doesn't like a, a romantic um, action? 
There's plenty of them in the uh, under four pound section on Steam. Uh, sound seems <laughs> and that, to be that was quite me kind of having a dig at all like the the waifu really? simulators and things thought, like, like that that are that are on there because. <laughs> Yeah, there's. Uh, it was like whenever I was looking for like Steam deals and stuff, I'd always end up finding like the same, like all of these sex-based games, and it was. It's like I'm not interested in this this crap, like strip solitaire, <laughs> like some. There were some absolutely bizarre games on there, but. Uh, yeah, so that went on for a while, and I would do these joke... Uh, actually, see if I can load up uh, some old thumbnails, see if I can find them. Um, yeah, so I, I made these thumbnails for for it as well. Like, I don't know where the... Oh, did I only do four of them? So, yeah, I've I done, these, done these thumbnails as well. Um because I wanted to ref I wanted to kind of take the piss uh even more like the fact that it's like text adventure games and I wanted to make it uh, I wanted to kind of do these thumbnails that kind of um was almost like advertising the the mock game that I'd made and like yeah one of the games in the first one was like a uh, gothic two-step hero uh and it it was it was um obviously a, a dance game um and it it scored like really high so i thought i thought it was you know because of like the the way that i scored high with it i thought right yeah okay this is going to be this is going to be my thumbnail so i did like you know gothic two step hero um then was it the the next one uh next one had i don't know if these are going to come up in order um kind of taken the piss out of Turk Dinosaur Hunter. I remember I remembered seeing this uh picture by um Jim will paint it. And it was you know, I remember seeing the, the, this image of Jesus riding on a riding on a T-Rex holding an AK forty seven. Um so yeah I I decided you know Jesus Christ Dinosaur Hunter and I um I used uh this this section here of the of the cover uh is um from uh I just said I just said it yeah um Jim will paint it uh and then it's like I kind of yeah I just made this background up quickly behind it and then slapped all that together um I never officially had permission to use it. I did email him though and say like, look, uh, I want to use your image for a thumbnail. And I sent him like the finished thumbnail and that as well. Never heard back. So I'm going to take that as no objection. Uh, but I also as well in the video that I uploaded with that, I also put a link to Jim will paint its website and like saying that this is where the image has come from. Um, I don't know if I, I think by copyright law this, this does count in the way that I'm using it as as like I can get away with it. Like, it's it's really weird the way copyright law and uh, intellectual property works. Uh, next one I had was like uh, no, that was my fourth one. Um, yeah, crappy bird. <laughs> Uh, I just saw it like I wanted something that look, obviously looked like the uh, Happy Bird background. The best I could come up with was Mario, um, and then it was just like I just then I found this image of uh, th th this image of um, of a bird shitting. So I thought, oh, perfect! And it was it just happened to line up perfectly with with this here, where I could have uh, have the bird you know, crapping on Mario. Um, and again, that was like me having a dig at like, uh, you know, Happy Bird being like such a popular game, and it and it and it's crap. It's it really is. It's like you know how how that game is so addictive. I have I have no idea. But yeah, um, as things went on, oh yeah, the first game that I had, um, which got a copyright strike 
yeah, I got copyright claim on uh, on YouTube. Um, I dare not even play it here. Yeah, the the action it's the music from the game, like the title, uh, the title of the game. Um, yeah, the uh, Castle Crashers. I want to stream that. I, I want to stream it, but I dare not because I don't know what uh, what music in there's copyrighted, and it's like. I kind of felt with that. Um, I mean, look at it. Out of all of it, it's my most popular video. 750 views. Uh, uh, compared to, like, all the others, which, like, you know, 91 is my next popular. But that one gets so many views. And I, I, can't, I there's no way, I, even if I was monetized, I couldn't get anything for it. Just, just for like, it's, it's like, what, an hour-long video, nearly? But just because of like a few seconds of music, which is in the game, like, and it's not even like it's like, um, you know, band's music or anything like that. It's, it's the it's the bloody title music. And, you know, it got a copyright claim on it. And so like I kind of uh, felt it wasn't fair that the entire one hour video got a copy, you know, got copyright claimed when only like, can't even say five percent of the video not even five percent of the video had had music in it you're talking seconds out of an hour and it's like fine you know by all means claim that little tiny section of it but not the entire video and i, I didn't think that was fair um yeah oh yeah among us uh, yeah, it was also just after I, uh, not long after I started, it was about a month after I started, Among Us become popular. So it's like I managed to get a group together for that. And I think it was just, this was, uh, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, the, um, what's he called? Uh, Castle Crashers was the um, first time that I'd done a stream with someone else. Um, and and the first recording I'd done with someone else, and it was uh, I wanted to see if like remote play together would work if I could get Discord going through um, OBS, and anyway after after doing that and getting the copyright claim on it, I was like I yeah that that really upset me, but I'd also learnt a bit more about how OBS worked after that because. Um, there was nothing I could do about the copyright claim because uh, it was it, it was like the you know the audio track that I had in the recording. It was the mic, it was the game, it was the Discord all together in one one audio track. So there was nothing I could do. Uh, I then started looking into: is there any way that I could do multi-track recording? Because um, yeah, you know, I do have experience as a sound engineer and I've done multi-track recording. I know that it's possible on, on a PC, even if you don't have a specific sound card, you've got multiple audio devices going into it. I knew that, that you could record audio, like multi-track from separate audio devices. So I started looking into it and I didn't realise that that's exactly what MP4 does. And I wasn't originally recording in MP4 format because it's like the the initial things on OBS and that don't recommend it. It recommends you use um, FMA, FMEPG, I forget now, um, so that if the, if it crashes, it, you still got your recording. But yeah, that there doesn't do multi-track. It's only MP4 that does. So... Yeah, I switched to MP4, knowing the risk that I could lose my entire recording if anything goes wrong. Um, and with that, uh, I knew that I kind of had the security of if I did something that did have a copyright claim on it, um, I could remove the video and then like edit that little bit of sound out. And I even got a kazoo and a um, mouth, mouth harp for if I ever get a copyright claim and have to replace the music with it, I replace it with a extremely bad rendition done on kazoo and uh, and a mouth harp and like really bad 
a vocal beatboxing or whatever for any rhythm stuff. Um, yeah, mine too, all like, played on pots and pans. Is the, the idea was to take the piss that uh, a bit of audio is enough to ruin an entire video. Um, haven't had to do that since. <laughs> Uh, it's only ever been that one get one game that I uploaded that got copyright claim, but yeah, I then Let's go. did. Hello, YouTube's. Yeah, among us. Yeah, no, I was I was actually ill when I did this. This was a last minute thing. This is why I'm in why I'm in a dressing gown. I was feeling ill. Which map are we? Oh, we're on this um, one. but it was like just happened to have a yeah couple of friends and said like oh do you want to play among us so again the small camera again i've, I've, I've moved everything in. around it like i said earlier it will get bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller because i could i never knew what looked right and of course because i'm watching it back on a uh you know big hd tv it didn't look too small to me but like when i'm looking when at it now on my got, monitor no here i'm looking at it going oh that was way too it, small everywhere trying to find it you've got a map yeah i think this uh, was so i can't even remember i think this was like the first time that i played did among us as well it was up to the right near a big telescope and i walked in and saw him dead in the doorway and captain spud the dark blue one was on the telescope <laughs> I was just finished the telescope task. Literally just finished when the thing finished. When the what thing was finished. the telescope task? You get a uh, picture. Again, everything you see with uh, with this background in it. Uh, I'm sat on a bed. Uh, I've got the green screen there because behind me is just a pile of cardboard boxes. Yeah, I actually saw uh, Brown dead on the little vitals thing. I was about to go and uh, emergency meet here. But, okay. I mean, no I just like to point out sometimes that's not the best idea. You want to find the body. Oh, and I still have those well, headphones. Have it's just it. that um, <laughs> it's actually more comfortable to use earbuds. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, so, all, all I really have is to. Uh, yeah, I still have them right here. To, the right. to be honest, I want to get them replaced. I want, I want one with gone. cat ears. I mean, uh, these are really good headphones. Thing, and then I went straight down. But it's like the colour isn't right. Um, but, yeah. They were only 15 quid, normally like a lot more than that. And they are a really good sound in them, especially the bass end. We're watching you, whoever it was. We're watching uh, that's you. probably going to... Again, I'm not very talkative through through this neither, because it's like... um I hadn't quite worked out Discord neither. The whole point is you don't talk during the round. As you can see there, like someone's oh, kind of... That, you just mute, uh, you um, go on silent and mute, so... No one can hear you. Again, like one of the issues that I had, which was why like, I kept going quiet and that as well, was um, having multiple windows on one screen. I couldn't, I couldn't really control um, Discord and play the game. So it's like whenever I had to switch to Discord to unmute stuff and, and that. By the time like that had happened, like. Yeah, everyone's already had their conversation and it was like I couldn't get in on it. So that made things difficult. Uh, it, it, things improved a lot more once I got uh, a second screen to do all this on. Um, then it's like House on the Hill. This is actually known now as Miss Savaden. Um, yeah, it's actually one of the reasons I haven't... Because I, I, did, a, I did a couple of them. Um, and then it's like I didn't do any more and then they changed uh they changed the name of it which kind of put me off again because it's like uh i part of me felt like i would have to start the whole thing over again and then it was also i didn't know what to do do i do i just change the thumbnails or, or what you know and i'm still in this whole thing of like i do actually want to continue this game on but i don't know whether i should just start again uh, or whether to whether to redo it. I mean, now I've kind of got this attitude of I'm I can't really be asked with YouTube. I'm you know more focused on Twitch now, and it's like everything I upload to YouTube now is all just basically going to be vods once I finish the game. But House on the Hill, uh, I think this is also the 
no, it wasn't the first. You know, if I go back uh, back again a minute to, uh, I think it's Among Us was where I started actually using. Um, no, no, it was actually the. Um, yeah, it was. It was the. No, it was these ones here actually Everyone. where I first started using an end screen. I think. Go on, load up. Come on. Yeah, it was. It was these ones. It was the um the text game dev tycoon edition. where I first started using an end screen. And I would use music from the game. Yeah, you know, I still hadn't actually quite figured out how to lay it all out. I eventually settled on uh, on one which is pretty much the same every time now. Uh, when I did the second one, I, I kind of took a piss. Again, you hear like my, what is now, excuse me, what is now my theme tune. Uh, so, although I kind of did like a really hard uh, version Thanks of it for, for this. And I'll see you all later. Is it this one? Oh no, that's part three. Where, where did part two go? Uh, I could have sworn it was part two that I put on. Hey. Yeah, it's about there that it comes in. So I was all, like I said, it was, you can see by my posture here, I was not comfortable hey. sitting on that bed. Again, this was like me taking the piss with the whole gothic two-step uh, hero. Thought it was kind of amusing that it was kind of in beat with that. Yeah, House on the Hill where uh, was where my end screen actually started looking any good. <laughs> and... Uh, Yeah, because the, the theme tune to it, I, I really like the theme tune to it. But like I so said, they changed the name of it. It's now it's now called Miss Surveyden, and that was that was thanks to Hasbro, because Hasbro got a game called Betrayal at the House on the Hill, which also has a very similar font to to it. There, I'm not. I'll show you. Uh, betrayal. I probably spelled Betrayal wrong at the House on the Hill. Yeah, so it's because of this game here. I mean, it's not that similar of, of a font, but you know, people were getting confused between this game here and this game here. And so, yeah, Hasbro basically took legal action on them and they were forced to change their name to um, Miss Surveyden. But this one here, I... Uh, it wasn't one that I streamed. It was one that I'd only recorded. And I didn't actually know where was a good point to stop. So it's like I got to a point where I felt like, oh, it would be here seems about right. And so I would stop. And then it's like I would go to record the next like episode of it. And then it would, uh, it would oh, OK, so it was only like five minutes. So... <laughs> It worked out roughly that each playthrough is, if you play right, is roughly about half an hour. But um, part, yeah, part one I thought was a bit dull. Uh, part two of it was, part two was uh, where I actually start getting uh, panicky about it. And again here, like, I, I started doing my, like, um, campaign for raise your game for dementia uk uh and that was yeah roughly one it was also where, like where i'm saying uh, yeah i've been on youtube for about a month so have a quick look at that if it loads Hey everyone, so it's been a month since I first started posting videos on YouTube and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been subscribing and watching my videos. 
I also wanted to let you know about a charity live stream that I'm going to be doing on the 24th of October. It's going to be raising money for Dementia UK with their uh, campaign for Raise Your Game for Dementia. Raise Your Game is a campaign that is taking place through October where people are holding events to play their favourite games and have fun whilst raising vital funds to help God, dementia specialists and at nothing nurses again. support families facing dementia. Now, I was hoping that there would be a video which could... Uh, tell you about this. yeah i think one of uh, this is one of the issues that i one, had as well I can um play you a video i used to keep waffling on and i'd repeat and myself uh, quite often i mean there is a video there that i was able to I've use now for nearly 20 years for, for it um, i'm going to skip through all this because it's kind of irrelevant and then i also kind of i go on about how i'm going to do the campaign which was uh using tabletop simulator um so I'm not going to play the whole video now because it's uh, not relevant anymore to the, um, you know, the campaign isn't going anymore. I, I do want to do another 24 hour campaign for um, for Alzheimer's or dementia. Uh, don't know when. I mean, I've got a few ideas for charity campaigns that I want to do. Um, but, yeah, I don't know when, when or what to do. But uh, going through the this bit more, like back one page now. I didn't realise that I'd actually uploaded like 177 videos to YouTube. So I think you know, part two of House on the Hill. That was where I'd. Um, oh yeah, uh, started doing. I decided as well. I'd start doing um, South Park fractured butthole. Uh, and I record like each one of them. I would record only about half an hour, but I would do like a whole bunch of them in one go. Um, and then it's also around about here is when you had phasmophobia come out, but which I'll come to that in a second. Uh, but so um, no, I don't want to want to play it. <laughs> Where's it gone? I still hadn't really that much of an idea of what I what I wanted to do. So I, I did like a second part of how Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Hey everyone. Well and it was roughly about here where I'd done, uh, yeah, it was roughly about here where like my friend had got notice that I um, couldn't stay there for much longer. But I want to try and see if I can find the bit where I first come across the the nasty in this. Where is it? Because I actually do. Did I? I'm sure I did. Is it about here? Because I actually, it's, yeah, I'm actually kind of scared with it. I know, no, it's still. It's, Cause I, I can't remember where the first, uh, cause I, I do actually jump. There's someone here. Go back now. They will come for me. Yeah, it was this whole. I remember this whole bit, the, the whole game here. I'm like thinking, oh my god, oh, this is shit. What the hell is that? You? You... Come on. I remember the, like because the game just was seemed kind of normal up until you went underground in this bit and then it just all started going really weird. Because that was it, you picked up the ritual dagger. Okay, and then it was back here. Yeah. Ah. There. Okay, that thing's going to be chasing me. Freaky, it looked like it was made of mannequins. This is his liver. Do you want to get out? He is here. Ah! 
Okay, that thing's going to be chasing me. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. Sure, like it jumps out at you down here if I remember right. You can tell as well there's a little bit of kind of frame rate loss with the well with the recording. From. Um and that was due to me using a pretty low end graphics card. I mean, there, there's just like one freaky creature. Yeah, and then there's... Okay, I don't know why my... Uh... Yeah, there, I, there's... Ah, yeah. When I did Phasmophobia, uh, that was something I, I kind... It took me ages to do the edit for this. Um, because... Uh, I didn't. Ju I can't remember whether I streamed it or whether I just played it and recorded it. But um, I, w I was going to do like a whole series of phasmophobia, which incidentally, um, playing phasmophobia tonight at nine p.m. British summer time, because uh, there's been like some really big updates on it, and I want to see what those updates are, and. I never recorded my first play on Phasmophobia, and I regret that because uh, I really enjoyed it. My first ever play on it was uh, it scared the shit out of me. And I'd, I'd been wanting a horror game to do that. Yeah, I, I played House on the Hill because a friend recommended me saying oh, it is scary, but it, yeah, it didn't really do much for me though it had a little bit of atmosphere to house on the hill but it didn't not that much it, it was just more weird than anything um and it's like the way it was kind of like described to me it was almost like uh i was expecting something kind of like a rogue like horror which it wasn't but yeah phasmophobia though i was really impressed with and it's like after i did, did my first play of it i I did. I had this whole idea of like dressing up and you know do, doing this whole thing with it, and uh, I spent ages doing the editing thing just for the intro. It took me a week to do to do it because I had no real idea what I was doing or how to get the effects that I wanted, and I was playing around. It's like as I'm working on, I'd have more ideas, and yeah, I yeah, I I uploaded it about a month after people were actually um doing uh House on the Hill. As you can see, there's like quite a gap gap here, like eighth of October to the thirty first of October. So I'd actually recorded this one, you know, ran ran about eighth of October ish area. But um it was quite a while before I uploaded it. And then you can see as well, there's also a gap between when I uploaded that and my next video. Um, so there's, there's, there's gaps around here, but this is roughly when my friend got their notice that I had to leave their property. Uh, and I'm trying to think now, I can't remember the date of when I exact date when I did the charity stream. I'm pretty sure it was in November. So, I'd have to come to a another section for that. Oh, it's in the live section there. When was it? it did that twenty fifth of October. So yeah, the uh, it was just before I uploaded the phasmophobia one that I did the charity stream. So yeah, this would have been uh, it would have been recorded while I was at my friend's, but uploaded while I was in the B and B. So have a quick look at that because I. Yeah, the intro on this. In fact, I'm going to save that until after I've had a quick break. Um, thought it was your mum's birthday. 
what do you uh oh <laughs> hey stacy sorry i didn't oh no i thought you were stacy yeah, my brain is not working today i thought it was your mum's birthday what today or yeah i'm not paying very much attention to the chat like i usually do the church i don't I'm getting mixed up with people's names. Yeah, you are Stacy. Derp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think you come in just before I was going to go on a quick break a minute. No, it's because uh, you've had a, like, a few different names. and like, I keep forgetting that, yeah, on Twitch, you're sloth. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to go on a quick break a minute. Um, and then I'm going to come back and show you all the uh, the intro that I did for my Phasmophobia video. No, I am going to do more Phasmophobia stuff. Uh, and it's like, well, Stacey's in, um, Stacey's in chat at the moment. Uh, they're going to be hopefully able to join in for uh, the game itself later on. Right. Well, I'll see you all in about five minutes or so, and then I'll show you the intro for Phasmophobia that I put a lot of work into. So see you all in a bit. Thank you, everyone, for waiting. And thank you, Maria Torino, for the follow. So as I promised, the uh, intro that I did for Phasmophobia, which I hate the fact that... No, I don't want it muted. Uh, hey everyone, last Tuesday I said that I was looking for a horror game that would actually shit me up and I believe I finally found it. It is still in early access so it still has a few bits to iron out but this game is probably the best horror game I've played. I have never felt so uneasy and actually scared with any video game that I've ever played. So. I would like to introduce you to... So yeah, I was really proud of that intro. Oh, what was that? And it's like, uh, throughout, throughout this as well, I added all these like, uh, kind of like spooky sound effects to it as well. Um, There's a staircase. <laughs> there's one bit in this as well where i actually get uh something makes me jump and it's not even one of it's not even a ghost um see if i can find it so i can jump straight to it because i mean everything kind of looks the looks the same in the little thumbnails but i remember it was in the house bit that it, uh, that it, um that it happened I mean, it was pretty dull, uh, a dull, pretty dull recording or stream. Dark, I can't let's say I can't remember if I streamed this one. Very at the moment, just to edgy. And it's like I was playing with uh, Chrissy Creams uh, for this, which I'm going to give Chrissy Creams a shout out for that because uh, since she was part of uh, part of this game. Please. But. Uh, I think this was the first time that she, that she played it as well. This is the last run, so it's probably you turning the lights on and scaring it off. It says it likes it. Phone, phone. phone so they added like a sound effects there. I thought she'd said you phone, but it was off? bone that she'd said. Try and find no, that. It was... I'm sure it was like down. Well, Is it in this room? Likes to t take people when they're alone. So stay together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a fan. Yeah, so if we can go <laughs> it's like looking at looking at the screen there. I actually I thought it was someone stood there. And it's uh, it's only when I like uh, yeah. Second glance when I looked over and realised it was a fan, but it does actually look like someone kind of stood in the doorway there, and it it yeah it, it scared the shit out of me. Uh, 
but yeah that that whole intro on that one i was uh i was really proud of that um like just before it as well i did uh i did the charity stream now one of the things i regret is that i streamed it on on youtube rather than twitch because i felt that i would reach a bigger audience on on youtube which um i didn't but like the it was hard i'd already been awake for quite some time i was already tired when i when i went in uh went into it but this was all done uh this was all done in a uh, live stream recording's not available oh okay uh the other bits are I'm sure the other bits are yeah the the short cuz i was having a few problems as well where the internet was dropping out um so it's like uh it was 24 hours but uh it kept um i i actually i actually went a lot longer i can't even remember what time in the in the day this this all here is but like um i was just like constantly like looking for other people to to play various board games with me using tabletop simulator and obviously that there was one part of it where didn't have very many people coming in or like i would be by myself like some of it i was working out how various board games would be played uh and then eventually uh got some players together for playing uh betrayal at the house on the hill which is my favorite board game um i think there i was just like got the table up so i could load it all in but like playing uh what's it like the board game version of tetris and there was a lot of board games i went through on uh on that day uh i can't even remember here whether i had someone else with me or whether i was just no, yeah, I did have someone else uh, starting on this one. So, like, mic setup and that was not very good because, again, I'm in I'm in a B and B doing so uh, doing all this. Of each thing, do they? I assume the the colours don't particularly matter. No, the colours don't do anything. Yeah, See, you can hear the echo as yeah, well just, uh, with the... Because the, actual, uh, the microphone was quite away from me. I didn't have it on a, on a proper stand. I only had it on like this a little little mini tripod. And it was the best that I could do, uh, given given where I was. Back in there. But I would love to. I'd love to be able to get like a load of board games going on. Uh, Do we end up playing Risk as well, or was that? Oh no, that was the, where they were describing um, Risk Legacy, which I've never played a Legacy game. You can have that one. I just had. <laughs> but uh, I'd raised. Uh, I'd raised about a hundred quid for Dementia UK doing that. So I was. I was quite proud of that. But like I said, my my regret was that. At the time, I didn't understand how Twitch worked. Um, it was... Uh, if I'd have done it on Twitch, I think I would have been able to raise more. Which uh, I just think it was a shame that I um, didn't... Yeah, didn't... Yeah, the Twitch Do Better refers to the hate raids that are going on. Uh, it's... There's people there's there's people there saying that like uh with the hate raids that um we it's down to like the streamer like to do what they can with that. But the fact is is that we can't. We we as streamers don't have the tools to be able to stop it. You know, it's like we can set up things like um banned words and stuff, but there, there's a video going round on uh on Twitter which uh if you bear with me I'll I'll just get the video up um so it's it it shows like how actually how impossible it is to stop hate raids uh now I want my my profile on there cuz I I shared the tweet um Streamers on Twitch are routinely told they should use the tools Twitch provides to protect themselves from harassment, such as adding offensive terms to a channel's blocked words list to prevent the words from being used in chat. 
Let's see how realistic this is. Let's say I want to block the word jogger in my channel. Harassers on Twitch often circumvent blocked words lists by swapping out characters in their chat messages for characters from other languages that are still easily recognizable. So in addition to banning the word jogger, I need to ban as many variations of that word as possible using non-English characters. What you see on your screen right now is a script I wrote to generate all the variations on the word jogger that can be created using Latin characters that resemble the English letters J, O, G, E, and R. It generated 21.9 million variations of the word jogger. This was just using the Latin characters. The UTF-8 standard that is used for Twitch chat also supports Cyrillic, Greek, Hebrew, and Arabic alphabets as well as many others. Then there is the matter of actually getting these terms blocked on a Twitch channel. Since the website doesn't have an option to upload block terms en masse, the only alternative is to set up my channel bot to block these terms. To prevent spamming, Twitch limits the number of messages a bot can send to a server to 100 messages every 30 seconds. So in order to block 21.9 million words, my channel bot will need to run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for 76 days. To block one word. Expecting streamers to manage this problem themselves is not only unfair, it's not technologically possible. Do better, Twitch. Yeah, so that's that's what the partially what the Twitch do better is about. But yeah, it's about the hate raids, about hate speech and and such that's uh, going on on Twitter, uh, on Twitter, on Twitch. And it's um, yeah, the streamers cannot be expected to do it. We can react to hate raids. I've got a button on my stream deck which basically locks down the chat and makes it follower only and clears the chat. But that's that's pretty much all I can do. I mean, I can take it a stage further and put it into subscriber only chat. But, you know, I think I've got about like three, maybe four subscribers and they're not always on when I'm streaming. So it's not fair to do that. And it's um, by putting it in like uh, subscriber only chat and things like that, it, it locks you the viewer out of being able to interact with the with the streamer that is not fair not just on the streamer but on the viewers as well no twitch twitch needs to do something like um verified emails and stuff like that to to stop this yeah there's loads of different things that they could do with it to stop these bot attacks like verified email uh capture codes and so on they're this is the the fact that these hate raids. You know, some people mistake these hate raids for things like people doing raids on channels. So you can't lock it down by selecting, um, yeah, only people who you follow can raid you. That doesn't work. What it actually is is it's like a whole load of bots all go into a channel at once and then spamming the hell out of the chat. If it's not doing that, it's spamming the hell out of the follow. So then you you know you get you end up with the follow alerts just going blink 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 and I've seen it go on, uh, I've seen it happen with like one thousand five hundred bots go to a channel and do that and it completely, it doesn't just disrupt the channel it disrupts it, it yeah you know, the there's very little you can do about it you, like I said you can react like I can turn the alerts off I can put it in in follower only chat but that's all I can do on my end. Uh, it should uh, it should be the other way around. The program should remove uh, diacritics and analysis. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, that would help. Something on Twitch where you can put in a banned word, and then Twitch's computer or computer system, which would be far more powerful than than this end, would automatically come up with all of those variations of it. And even then, like, what's stopping you putting spaces in between or underscores in between each letter or or things like that? Which, um, like, one of the problems I was having a while a while back was with um, was it big follows, and like I'd ban links and stuff from a the thing. They got around that by basically putting a space between like the www dots and then they put a space big follows space dot com, so it wouldn't identify it as a link. 
Yeah, and, and it's not good enough. I mean, now I don't get that because you have to have a verified email to comment in my in my chat. If you haven't got a verified email, you don't get to chat. But it should that should be across the thing anyway. It should be that shouldn't be a setting. That should be the default that without a verified email, you do not get to even use a Twitch account. Uh, that that should be the absolute default with it. It should use capture codes so that you know bots cannot sign up. Um, and it needs to have a some form of detection where, like, uh, if suddenly the chat is being bombarded with loads of uh, with loads of stuff, that Twitch instantly recognizes that. But no, there's, there's a lot that Twitch could do that they're not doing, and it's like it's all falling on the streamers themselves to try and do something about it. Which is why next week on September the first, uh, a lot of streamers are basically taking a day off Twitch. So it's like ho hoping that it gets noticed that it'd be enough for Twitch to go, mm, maybe we should do something about this. But anyway, well, um, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, after I did my, uh, my upload of, uh, Phasmophobia and my 24 hour stream, um, I managed to get my new place and yeah, the, uh, you could, instantly see there that the, everything looks very different. Hey everyone, I'm not very good at doing vlogs, but I wanted to apologize for not uploading any content of late. I've uh, had a few things getting in my way, um, which all started about a year ago when I had mass men break into my home, all because Hang of my on. gender let me, identity. Let me, let me, let me why, why not? I forgot to change my screen over, stupid me. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm not very good at doing vlogs, but I wanted to apologise for not uploading any content of late. I've uh, had a few things getting in my way, um, which all started about a year ago when I had mass men break into my home, all because of my gender identity, and uh, they assaulted me. As a result of that, I had to flee my home, and for the last year I've been homeless and staying around friends houses uh while i was staying at uh, friends during the covid lockdown i built my computer and i started doing video content for youtube and streaming on twitch unfortunately um i had to leave there as well because uh their landlord basically said that if i didn't leave they would be served notes to quit and uh, obviously i didn't want to be responsible for making them homeless as well and I ended up in a and b which at the time I wasn't in the right frame of mind to be doing any content, but I did do my uh, charity live stream, mainly because I um, uh, I didn't want to break a promise, um, but I very nearly didn't do it uh, because I didn't have all my equipment around me and I didn't really have access to the internet other than through my mobile phone. Um, shortly after I did the uh, the live stream, I was allocated a new home, and over the last couple of weeks, I've been moving in, unpacking, and uh, you know, getting everything ready. And as you can see, all new background, and yeah, I'm all settled here and in the right frame of mind to start making content again. Uh, so I'm going to be uploading some YouTube videos over the next couple of days, and. Uh, I will be streaming on Twitch this evening at 8 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. And I hope to see some of you there. And I thank you all for your patience and I'll see you all soon. Yeah, so oh, thank you for the uh, Prime subscription, Stace. Yeah, so it was, um, yeah, after here, I think is where my confidence with... Uh, Again, more so with YouTube than Twitch, because uh, I, at this point, I wasn't still wasn't really streaming on Twitch. Uh, it was more making content for YouTube, but um, it was still a little while later before I actually did start uploading again. Excuse me, about another couple of weeks, and um, I was also saving up for a new graphics card. 
And I wanted the 3080, but it just wasn't available. Um, but I wanted it in time for the uh, release of Cyberpunk 2077 because I'm a big fan of Cyberpunk. Uh, I love the I love the role play game, and kind of at the last minute, like it was literally like a two days before it was released, I decided to run a Cyberpunk 2020 game, and uh, this was this was uh, streamed on Twitch, so. This, uh, my god, was it actually four, uh, nearly five hours? So I started doing, um, I started doing something like for the beginning as well. This is when I started having like a stream starting soon screen as well. And, uh, I'd play like music from the video game as, as part of that intro. So, and I, I, I love the music to Cyberpunk 2077 as well. So I, I used the music from Cyberpunk 2077 for this because it was a um, sort of like a countdown as well to the release of Cyberpunk 2077. And I was really excited about it. So I jumped away on actually there. And I changed the colour of like my lights and everything for it as well to, to yellow to out until midnight. But hang on, come on. I should have noted in the down corner the, there's uh, a countdown to when Cyberpunk 2077 is officially released. So now there are people who are the already streaming there as well. Cyberpunk 2077. They shouldn't be. It's not actually out until midnight, but some people got a copy of it early and they just can't wait to put it up there and get ahead of everyone else who's um, you know, still waiting for the game to officially come out. So one of the things that they're going to be playing it without the day zero release, uh, day zero update. So they've probably got all bugs and stuff in it. And, you know, the update that CD Projekt Red have been working on for the last uh, few months. But no, they just uh, can't wait. And it's uh, I'm personally frustrated with that. Anyway, I am joined with Chrissy Creams, uh, um, Sticks forty two thirteen, and uh, see Stace. That that's why I keep forgetting that you're on on Twitch. Your sloth eight four four five because yeah, um, everything else your Sticks forty two thirteen. Uh, and that's why that's why when you come up as sloth, I don't immediately recognise it's you. Uh, I keep forgetting what you want your handle to be, but on Discord you're cyanide high. Hi. Hello. Right. Hello. So, Hello. Right. Uh, we are still in the process of like the or the late late stage of uh, doing like some character stuff. So yeah, what we were doing here, like the the beginning of it. Uh, it was running a bit slow because we, we were really ill prepared for it. I'd like turn around to everyone at the very last minute and say, quick, put some characters together. We're playing Cyberpunk tonight. And um, we were using Discord for doing all like the dice rolls and um, yeah, it was all being done through that. I mean, I want to do this properly again and actually do a proper Cyberpunk 2077 game. But yeah, we we did all this whole thing. Um, yeah, we like had like character uh, like character images and stuff, which I wasn't very quick at bringing the images up on screen. With a stream deck now, I'll be able to do this nice and nice and easy. But um, yeah, we we ran this game. And it turned out that the the way that I was doing the the plot to the to the role play was actually very very close to the backstory to Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. So I was actually really impressed with myself for that. So don't know if uh, we're still character gen at this point. Okay, so twenty two. Yeah, you're driving that absolutely fine. You know. Uh, even though the traffic is uh, horrendous, cars speeding all over the place, you're able to weave around there and uh, get back to um, 
Club Atlantis no, with I would all love haste. to have been able to have like multiple cameras okay, up now, for this, but uh, are time. you going to be parking up right outside Club Atlantis or are you intending to park nearby and everyone just walk the rest of the way there? Now, in the original Cyberpunk 2020 plot, the Club Atlantis is basically the predecessor to uh, what is um, the afterlife in uh, 2077. But yeah, the whole storyline to this, I basically ran it uh, as um, the whole bit where, um, I can't think of her name now, uh, Johnny Silverhand's um, on and off girlfriend is kidnapped uh, by Arasaka. Uh, and it's basically you go in there to to save her. And yeah, uh, I think I got to almost to the point where they find her body and discover that basically her consciousness has been um, ripped out of her. But yeah, I enjoyed this whole thing where I, I did it as a lead up to it. And then, yeah, the day zero update, uh, need to get the day zero update, which wasn't available until midnight. So it was like still like another hour before I actually got to uh, to play the game. But when it actually came to playing it, I ended up having these issues with it where the game itself, the, the recording, I don't, I, I think it did it with the stream as well, where it would, it would all judder. The gameplay itself was absolutely fine. What's wrong button again? Um, but yeah, I had to, I had to put all these apologies up for it because I had no idea what was going on. And uh, it was actually an issue with OBS's screen hey everyone, capture. Uh, welcome back. I've uh, rebooted my computer after uh, an NVIDIA driver update. Um, oh, yeah, that was... A po yeah, not only did I have to get the day zero update, but then, like, uh, right at the last minute as well, there was a NVIDIA update, which I had to reboot my computer and everything. So I wasn't able to do it as one complete stream, neither. Um, but then, again, I also wasn't really understanding how Twitch worked with it. So it's like I was more doing the recordings for the um, Cyberpunk 2077 stuff as like one hour streams. So whereas like now I go on a break uh, after an hour, uh, I used to stop the stream and then come back. Um, but I was doing it because like that, because I wanted it to be nicely cut for when I uploaded it to YouTube because YouTube was still my priority at the time. Um, and yeah, it's like I'm doing a lot better when I just go on a break and I'm not purposely making it so that I have these cut off points for YouTube. It's just that the, you know, an hour break, it's like, I think that's perfect for me to quickly stretch my legs, go to the toilet, grab a drink. Uh, and so on. So I always go on a break like every hour. Was most definitely going to install that driver update considering it's got. So it's like uh, most of this one here, I was doing like the character generation for it and then it went into it. Uh, but I could show you the. It might happen here. He's got to be packing some like cyber yeah, skeleton or something. Uh, hello, uh, Gabor. How are you? Um, if you're asking if I'm autistic, uh, yeah, I am autistic. That's the shit pan. Right, now I'm guessing that this here is, right, is it from... Uh, yeah, I think it... Let's see if it does do the juddering thing here that I'm on about. But it was actually... I'd done so like I 10 heavier, yeah. streams or recordings of this before I'd actually realised what was going on. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing the juddering stuff here. I know that it um, it does it when... It's like I remember sitting down... Uh, I remember like... Because I even put it down to the originally when I was getting this issue. Will it do it here? So I do have a liaison problem with the light here, which I don't know why... Uh, why that was happening, but again, yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing the juddering thing there. But I know that later on, I do notice it. Uh, let's see if I can find where 
I know that it happens. Um, uh, let's try that one, see if it's on this one that it's doing it. Uh, when did you become autistic? I became autistic um, before I was born. You're born autistic and you die autistic. Um, the, you might be able to, if you go on to the, uh, go on to Google and um, Google National Autistic Society. It's a, it's an English, uh, British resource, but you'll find it's a charity that, that supports autistic people. Uh, if you go there, you'll be able to find some information about it. I mean, there's loads of loads of information online, but yeah, there is the issue of like local acceptance of it, whether or not um, whether or not the uh, the government there basically accepts that it exists or whatever. Uh, does the autism make you do the paint on face? Uh, I don't get what you mean by that no no I, I just like wearing makeup yeah sometimes i wear makeup sometimes i don't i mean recently i haven't bothered um i've clicked on the wrong button there for that one that's uh that's still quite little well, that's quite late on see if uh, let's see if this one's doing the jankiness thing that I was on about but a lot of girls wear makeup hello everyone and well so it's like now I'm actually looking for this jankiness issue I'm probably not going to find it I remember it was when I know it happens when you um, first see Johnny Silverhand. I know that it happens there. Right, so maybe the next one, so part uh, part nine, maybe. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Friday Night Firefight. Also, the last time it ended a. Uh, Bit somber with the. Yeah, I don't want to do that bit for. Yes, girls wear makeup. Or girls tend to. Right, is that gonna. Might be, no, it might be part 10 then. Yeah, I remember it does it here. This is also as well, you'll see like uh, one of the other glitches where someone just appears out of nowhere and then like moves off the side with no movement. So, yeah, you'll see what I mean about the uh, juddering because it will start juddering in a minute. Okay. Yeah, why did Why'd you help, you help me? me anyway? I wish I had like a skip forward like ten seconds chip. button like it does on the smart devices. It's about the biochip. That why I'm here. Mm. I, I wear makeup because I'm a girl. Any attempt to extract Not that that matters, because there's no reason why fail. guys can't wear makeup neither. Nick likes the talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? Right, so skip forward a bit more, see if it... Why do you believe she could help you remove... Come on. Where's it gonna... I know it judders around here. I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here... Uh, there's nothing to understand. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. I right, I know that when the TV's playing, it starts juddering around here. What's this about? Hana 
子様お会いいたけて光栄ですこちらこそ Now, Hanato sama, I would first like to ask you. You fucking suck at scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Oh, so why? I know it happens on here. <laughs> There you go. It's starting, starting to do it here. But you'll see it as they, as characters move around. It starts sorry. doing I this. The Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. If you start wearing makeup, um, you start wearing makeup. Yeah. Should take you for a right, suit? Let's move to here where I where Johnny Silverhand's there. The, it really does. I know it starts doing it here. Oh, Saga is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But there you go. So it started doing the juddering thing here. Now in the gameplay, the this was running on. absolutely smooth. I had no, no issue with the gameplay at all. But me. the recording and the stream was doing all this. What do you want from me? And it was ages night. before I'd actually noticed. You tried to kill me. Well, I and it's like, changed my mind. it bugged the crap out of me afterwards. It. And I was doing oh, things, God, I started turning path. the graphic settings down, hey, I turned the ray tracing off. Uh, I tried all way. sorts to try and stop it. And I think I, I, I ended up completing the game before I'd actually worked out back. what the Working what the actual things. issue was. Hey. And it turned out it was the capture method that I was using on uh, on OBS, and it's like I knew it was um, I knew it was the whole thing with the uh, um, so I'm getting distracted by chat here. Right, <sighs> to be honest with what you're talking about, uh, it's not the place for this. And I'm going to give you a chance to stop talking about this here in chat. Because uh, if you carry on, I'm going to ban you. Because um, what you're coming out with um, is information you can very easily find on any webs uh, on on you on on Google just by typing in LGBT rights. Yeah, there is. There's. What you're talking about there about makeup is gender expectation and it's incredibly homophobic to assume that someone is gay because they wear makeup. Or like, you know, it's 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 also trans there's transphobia involved in that. Wearing makeup does not make you gay. Wearing makeup does not make you female. You know, there is nothing outside of who you are in here that makes you gay or straight or trans or whatever. You know, if you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. If you want to wear a dress and identify as male, then do so. It's, it, that's got nothing to do with anything. If you want to do drag, that's fine. If you, think, if you think you're a transgender, go to a transgender support group online or anything like that and ask, you know, and ask there about what being transgender is about. But going on to people's um, chats on Twitch and asking the questions you are is not appropriate. You know what you could be, what you're doing there could be upsetting other viewers here. You might be like people might be leaving my stream because they don't appreciate what you're talking about. This is not the place for it. My stream isn't me talking about my gender identity or talking about LGBT or anything like that. This stream is me talking about the last year of me streaming and doing things on YouTube. Yeah, you you may like to learn, but this isn't I'm not here to teach about LGBT stuff. That's not what this stream is for. Yeah, I might do a stream where I talk about uh, my gender identity and being lesbian and so on. But 
I don't feel that that has any bearing at all on me or what I stream. I just stream what the things that I enjoy. You know, if you don't understand the meaning, Google is available there for it. But please change the subject in there. Like if you want to talk in the chat, talk about the things that I'm streaming about or have a conversation with other people in the chat. Please don't be coming in like doing that. I mean, yeah, I know I have the tag ADHD. That's because I have um, I'm transgender. I have ADHD, which is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And I have autism. So I have the tag of autism. Yeah, I have those tags there because I want this to be a safe space for people with, who who have similar things to me. Same as I've got the tag LGBTQIA because I am part of that community. The com Those tags there are to tell people that I am part of that community and you people are welcome here. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to talk about those things where when it's appropriate, but like... What you're doing at the moment is completely disrupting my stream and it's completely interfering with like other people like being able to talk about what it is I'm talking about. I mean, I, I'm going to clear the chat. Which, uh, yeah, I now need to fight. Yeah, I'm going to clear the chat because I don't really want other people coming into the chat and immediately seeing all this stuff here. But if you... Yeah, if you want to talk about these things, there are plenty of forums and stuff that you can find on various social media. But my stream is not a forum for that. Uh, anyway, where was I? I was talking about glitchiness on Cyberpunk. Uh... Look, please, I've already cleared the chat. I'm trying to put an end to it and so that we could just carry on. Yeah, if you if you keep on talking like that, I'm going to I'm I'm going to ban you from the stream. Right. Um yeah, because I was aware of the I became aware of the judderiness of that. I did put up an apology um about the uh, stuff that was going on with my Cyberpunk 2077 content. And I, I did say to people, I have no idea what was going on. I don't know how to stop this. Um, and it was like, yeah, after I, it was actually after I moved here that I found out why I was having these issues. And yeah, I, uh, I just I had to carry on with it like I was doing everything I could to try and at least lessen it by like turning all the graphic settings down but it was still it was still happening but I've just managed to bring it down to a minimum so because of that I am going to do the whole of Cyberpunk 2077 all over again but I don't want to take these videos down because they have all my initial reactions to what was going on in the game and yeah, I kind of think that that's kind of valuable. I like to, when I play when I play games uh, on Twitch or for YouTube, I like it to be the first time I play the game. So it has all my initial reactions to it. Um, yeah, then, yeah, while I was doing the cyberpunk stuff as well, I also started doing uh, streams of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. So I'd already played Ori and the Blind Forest, so I didn't want to stream that because I or in the Will of the Wisps had not long been out and I wanted to I wanted to go into Ori of the Will of the Wisps and, and show um you know what my first reactions to it. Uh I'm assuming when you're talking about um disappointed in the game Cyberpunk. I really wasn't. I wasn't disappointed at all. I loved that game. I do wish there was more to it. I did write a review on my website for um for so uh, in fact if bear with me I'll post a link to that in the chats uh but yeah I've got a uh, got a review that I wrote for um 
for Cyberpunk 2077 if you if you're interested in it. Uh, RPGs. I need to do more uh, on my website. Uh, I want to. I, I want to have like reviews of like every game that I've played on there. But yeah, there's. If anyone's interested, there's a link to the review that I wrote on it, and it will be getting updated when uh when more stuff comes out for for it. Like when they've done, um, when all, they've actually started getting expansions and stuff, I'll be expanding on the review. But um. Yeah, I went into Ori and the Will of the Wisps, uh, where, again, I would stream for about an hour and then I'd stop, have like a half hour break, and then I would go back to, you know, I'd do another hour stream, have a half hour break. Um, but I went into, like, when editing it for YouTube, I went into it immediately with this idea of having a death counter up there. And I put the death counter there because when I played Oi and the Blind Forest, uh, I think I clocked up over a thousand deaths, which uh, now that I've played Dark Souls is nothing. You know, <laughs> I've learned that a thousand deaths is nothing. Um, uh, I'm just looking, catching up on the chat there. Um yeah, is Cyberpunk a good game? I think it really is. I mean, I was running it on a higher end PC, so I didn't get as many of the problems as other people did. Uh on console, I would say it's they should never have gone to console with it. They should have they it should have been a PC game. And like, yeah, you know, as far as like console release, they should have concentrated on PC release and then seen how it went with pc then go to console but then they shouldn't have bothered with xbox one or ps3 it should have just only series s uh and series x and ps so not ps3 ps4 it should have gone just ps5 and um xbox series not xbox one and ps4 um Uh, in the game, you can be who you want. Yeah, you can. You well, you play the character V, um, but as far as the gender and everything like that, you that's all down to you. You can you can make your character how you want. You can make them look like what you uh, what you want. Uh, you can progress the game how you through how you want. So they're whatever you want. It's just the only thing that isn't unique to your character is the character's name, which is V. Um. Yeah, the severe bugs with it, like I said, I didn't really get the issues that other people had. Uh, I mean, I had a couple of things with T-posing and, and things like that. And like maybe something that would um, spawn in that shouldn't or, you know, something that wouldn't spawn out. Yeah, it, it was mainly little issues like that. I didn't have anything like what some other people were having, like where you punch a window and then suddenly you're catapulted, uh, you know, 100 kilometers up in the air. I, I never had those those issues. I've seen them, but I never had them. I mean, I think one of the funniest ones I'd seen, and how this glitch happened, I've no idea, but it was someone going up an elevator, and the next thing is car comes through the floor. And, yeah, it was weird. I mean, some of, some of the ones I've seen are just plain weird. And I did have one where on a mission someone else was driving the car and like the mission if you died it would uh it would start off in the car again but it would spawn you on the wrong seat so you were like inside someone's head that that was like probably the weirdest glitch i had um oh god uh how do i compliment you on stream i don't know I, i'm i'm going to put you on a timeout because um yeah what you're coming out with is not appropriate sorry
All right, now I'm going to have to clear chat again. I don't like having to do that. I don't like being put in a position where I have to do that. And I apologise to everyone who's watching with that. Uh, hopefully the timeout will give them a chance to think about it. If it carries on after their timeout, I am going to ban them. I, 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 I understand that some people like feel the need to ask questions, but it's appropriateness of it. There, that is what they're asking in the chat there and saying in the chat. I think it's incredibly inappropriate. If you want to pay someone a compliment, you, there, there's just pay them a compliment. But like understand what a compliment is as well. And if you put, if you've got to ask whether a an, uh, a compliment is inappropriate, chances are it's not appropriate. Anyway, back to what I was saying about Ori. <laughs> so, um, I like I said with this one here, I I decided to hey put, everyone and welcome to whoops. Ori. Yeah, with this one here, I decided to put um thing in the the corner for like death count and that and again like my camera here it just really looks shit um i think what i've done here as well is i'd actually zoomed in uh on the corner which is another reason why it looks so cack uh i can't really tell but if i fast forward because yeah if you want to watch the the actual stream of it it's uh obviously all there on my youtube channel but uh, because all of this at the beginning, this is all like the intro to the game. I hadn't actually died at any of these points, I don't think. Maybe I'll go to a section where I know I die a lot. But yeah, I might not have died in the first uh, the first video. Ah, yeah, boss fight. Yeah, definitely I have deaths here. To get somewhere I know it's my god that looks blurry or have I just got the graphic settings on that like really low or something is this the one with the boss fight or is it the next one no it's the next one why the hell have I got a picture of a boss there for the for that one then uh, I'm gonna have to go back one screen and then back to this one so I can show you the whole thing that uh, I was doing for the Christmas stuff. That's part five. Where's part three gone? Um, okay, this has confused me a little now. Yeah, because I tried to make like interesting thumbnails as well for it. So find that boss fight. Well, it's, yeah, it's not the same boss fight, but it's uh, a boss fight. Yeah, for some reason it's. But there you go. So I've put this death counter in there. I mean, whenever I had the boss fight, I kept the death counter there. But like, uh, otherwise it fades away and then comes back in whenever I die. But by the end of it, um, I didn't have anywhere near as many deaths as I did with Ori in the, uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. So as I, as I was carrying on, I came up to around about Christmas and I thought I would do a stream uh, of Christmas games. Um, like all ones that had come off of uh, Itch.io. And it's, I've done a few like videos of Itch.io games. It's coming to the wrong thing there again. Um, but yeah, uh, I, yeah, I just decided like, to do Hello. something for something for Christmas 
Uh, I mean, I it was pretty much all I did for Christmas, actually. Hello, everyone, but and welcome to again the sack problems of with the lighting and games. that. It's, okay, so this one's called Dead my streams just Santa. weren't looking right. The uh, the colours no were what, the uh, brightness and everything was all off on the camera. Uh, it just didn't didn't look right and I, i'm still first. using this this like border thing as well and i haven't okay, got the no uh, what, uh actual size of my window means, very done very well there how it's not but, like make this channel for kids yeah <laughs> it was um okay okay a weird stream that one but moving on, which I want to try and kind of semi fast forward ish. Um, again, like quite a few ones that I did where oh, another one where I make a political joke uh, in a uh, in one of the videos that I did. Uh, again, can't remember if I streamed this or whether I just outright played it, but I got it. Uh, I actually end up getting a refund on it because I was not going to play it anymore i think i actually played it for about 15 minutes and I, I i was bored but um this this year i i i was able to use it for a political joke and i was expecting something very in fact actually i don't i'm not sure i won't be able to show any of the game footage but i can show the intro Yeah, I wouldn't be able to show Hello any everyone, the... I am Manic Landizzy and welcome to Boris Johnson Simulator. That's not what it's called. What do you mean? You, you're playing a walking penis. But it's not a game about Boris Johnson. So what's it I'm playing then? It's called Cockhead. So this is a game... But that's as much as I, I, I can't show any more than that because of uh, Twitch's cut terms and conditions. Um... But yeah, when I did that intro for it, it, again, it was kind of an on-the-spot idea, and I didn't actually have anyone else around me. As you've seen earlier in the stream, uh, the layout of my uh, my actual setup, you can clearly see that there was there was no one to this side of me. Uh, it would have been impossible for anyone because it's desk right right here. Uh, but I'd recorded that, and then it's like I'd uh, gone to uh to stacy and, and said oh can you record the other side of this conversation for me and she sent back a bunch of voice messages on uh on facebook and yeah that's what came out of it and i thought it worked really well but um yeah it was me i wanted to i wanted to do more and it's like again i'm it was just starting to feel more confident with uh, with what I was doing but still had not really got the gist of of uh, of twitch very much yeah that's still streaming like yeah I'd stream like an hour or so of minecraft and you know an hour of cyberpunk um oh my first try not to laugh uh Try not to laugh videos there. I actually recorded that well before that date because there was quite a few that I recorded which uh, I never got round to uploading, but then I kind of used it to fill up. But this was when I round about when I got the got a phone call asking if I could move uh, down to Cornwall and move him and my mum to, to help my mum out. And uh, so I put up a video like telling people why I hadn't uploaded much. Uh, and like effectively like why my usual schedule was on pause because uh, all the things I was usually uploading I wasn't uh, so I was uploading my backlog basically of my other things that I wanted to upload but hadn't got round to so which included a lot of like itch games so um, I stopped doing like the Plague Inc. The Cure uh, there was um, Ori stuff that wasn't getting uploaded and it just basically became the um yeah the stuff that i i'd put to one side 
And uh, yeah, so the try not to laugh one, um, I experimented a bit with that where I just got an app for my phone called um, Droid Cam. And uh, yeah, I decided to experiment with the camera angles and stuff with that, which uh, I'll show you that in a minute. But I right this second, I need to quickly I need to run off to the toilet. So going to go on to another break and I'll be back in about five minutes or so. Hey, everyone. Thank you for waiting. Now, I just realized, actually, um, because uh, Sloth 8445 uh, is... Uh, resubscriber prime i just realized they were my first ever subscriber so it's actually been it's actually about a month since i first hit affiliate today as well kind of convenient <laughs> uh, and yeah so i was going to show you like the uh what i was doing with try not to uh with my try not to laugh video because um i was kind of experimenting with two angles So what I what I'd done here is I'd recorded um the yeah I'd recorded on OBS where I'd basically set the canvas of OBS to like two screens wide had my webcam on one screen and the basically everything the yeah, the the screen on the other the other side of it and then I was also recording on my mobile phone. So my mobile phone was positioned where my webcam would normally sit. And I had my webcam like down uh, down on the side. So I was experimenting with like two separate angles to see how that would look. And um, yeah, well, I've gone and put on weight and have a bit of a double chin. Kind of really shows. I don't know how the how the two camera angle thing works. Yeah, I had to replace the music here because the actual music itself uh was I knew was copyrighted content. Um the the actual music uh I can't remember what the actual music there was. Uh but yeah, as a yeah, you can see they're changing the camera angle thing again. But yeah, it's all the way, all the way through. Like I've I've kind of done it where I've layered the camera and the and that, and then just like kept switching between the two to because I just wanted to see if if that worked. But it was the only only video that I did um, where I did that. And also as well, I started using my theme tune more at the end of the video. But it was usually for videos where I, you know, where I didn't have like um, something from a game to put at the end. So I would end up, you're going to buffer now, are you? Oh, brilliant. Thank you, YouTube, for that. But yeah, I started like putting my logo at the end with... There you go. So I started using what is now yeah, become my theme tune. And you can hear it's a bit different than, uh, than what I've got at the moment because I did a video or I did a stream a little while back where I added to it and made it, you know, made it more... But the originally that tune was it was just something I was working on. It, it was a, it was something I was working on before I was streaming and doing YouTube videos because uh, I just enjoy making music as well. And uh, when I first used it back with the um, snagged on Steam, it was just stuff where. Yeah, I wanted to. I needed a theme tune. I needed something that wasn't copyrighted content. And I got well. I, I have got these tunes I'm working on, so that that's what I used, and it's ended up becoming my theme tune. And yeah, and just yeah, like I said, all all of the these uploads 
uh, here were from where I was getting ready to move. And when I did this unboxing video, uh, you can clearly see like in the background, I think I've got it in the background where it's just a pile of boxes behind me and very echoey sound. <laughs> And yeah, one of the other things here is I've, I've recorded this on my mobile phone, so none of it's recording on my computer because my computer at this point isn't set up. Uh, like a lot, of, a lot of my stuff's packed away. Um, I had my one of my ring lights plugged into uh, a phone charger, and that was sat on a couple of cardboard boxes as well. It kept falling over. Um, I'm not sure whether any of that actually comes through uh, on on the thing. I mean. Also, at this point here, it's basically I still have my desktop PC out and my TV out. So I have my, my computer hooked up to my TV. Uh, and that was in my bedroom because I still wanted to be able to, like, do social media and, like, like try and edit and upload a few things while I was still packing stuff up to move. Um, but, yeah, this this here was, like, my stuff that I'd got on Kickstarter had, had just arrived. So like, I wanted to get a, an unboxing video of it. So. <laughs> As you can see, the sound on it is terrible because it's using the mobile phone mic and it's so much reverb because of the boxes and the walls behind me and no, no padding because like all of that was all put away. Right, with this here, I've actually got my my phone like right there. So the sound doesn't sound too bad because the microphone's quite close to me. But this here is all I did this here is like a curtain <laughs> a curtain just like laid out on one of the boxes that I'd packed and I mean it worked. And I was kind of pleased with how like the, the unboxing video came out. Even with like the, the, the the autofocus like messing around as well i mean it almost sounds like i overdubbed it with the with the recording because the actual mic sound on this this bit sounds really good but it's not overdubbed this is this is all recorded on uh using my mobile phone um, the music, incidentally, is from the original version of Binding of Isaac. And the, the reason I use that music is because the creators of this, ga this card game here, uh, they're the creators of Binding of Isaac. So, yeah, that was like an unboxing video, which is all done on my mobile phone. Um... And then it was like, I think it was a few days after I uploaded that, that I'd actually moved. So I'm trying to think. Yeah, these yeah, these videos here uh are from after I moved. Because I start go back I go back into Plague Inc. the Cure and that. So there isn't doesn't seem to be that much of a gap between like the uploads, but that's because I tried to keep it as close as I could. I think it was like a week, maybe two weeks where I didn't upload. Uh, just looking. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see uh, I jumped from 9th of March to 3rd of May. So it's that one there was the last thing I uploaded at my previous address, uh, Lightbearers. Uh, in fact, I think it may have been even the last thing that I recorded. Um, well, or rather, uh, the... I'm trying to think now whether that was in the bedroom or whether it was just before I packed my my desk and computer and everything up, but um, yeah, it was uh, it I recorded that one before doing the unboxing because I remember that when I'm pretty sure that when I did this one here, I was actually sat at my desk. Yeah, as you can see, I got boxes all in the background there behind me because I was packing up and I, I wanted to have like one last um, group game with friends before I'd actually moved. So yeah, that one there was like literally just before I'd moved. 
and then it's uh yeah so here was just after i moved so this one here would have been the well this one here would have been the first stream that i did after i moved i think just need to double check it yeah there you go So here you let's go one where I'm not looking like all drunk or something. Um so here you can see that like I'm not wearing glasses and the you know the background there, I've got my shelves behind me. And the reason I'm not wearing any glasses in this stream is because um my mum's dog decided to jump up at me and broke my last pair of glasses. So that was also one of the reasons why there was quite a gap between um me moving and, and doing another stream because uh, I'd actually had everything set up quite quickly after I'd moved but um, you know I didn't have any glasses and in the end I just got uh, I just kind of got like for that I wanted to I wanted to stream I wanted to record some stuff I wanted to you know to carry on so I started doing it without my glasses on and uh, I, it left me with left me with headaches um, as for the shelves in the background, it was more like at that point, I didn't know how I wanted to lay this room out. Uh, I didn't want my bed in the background. And so I put my shelf units like literally right behind me. And you're only talking like here. And it gave me practically no room. I felt extremely claustrophobic in that environment. And yeah, I couldn't move. I couldn't move my chair any further back than that because that would immediately collide with the shelving behind me and I would knock stuff off of it. I was worried about the shelves falling over, but it's literally right behind those shelves is where my bed was and it, it, it just felt horrible. So in the end, I, I, I caved in and arranged, rearranged everything and moved the bed from, from just here to over there and thought like sod it I'll, I'll have my bed in the background i i want that space behind me it, i don't want it feeling so claustrophobic i don't want to i don't want it to look like i'm in a cupboard so yeah i opened it all up and but yeah in the background here there's also this uh this here was made for me by a friend they crocheted that for me because they've been in oh hang on you can't see derp um <laughs> this here they'd uh they crocheted that for me because of um, they enjoyed watching the Among Us games that I was streaming, and I wanted to have like a few like things in the background that was like uh, collectible stuff that I had. So like I'm into Spawn, so I had like Spawn comic book in the background, and then like this here is a role play game where I was a play tester in it, and I'm credited in in that book, but that's a special edition of it. But <coughs> excuse me. One of the other reasons I moved everything around is because like one day the dog got up the stairs, got in the bedroom, knocked the shelves, knocked everything off, and you know, the uh that book there actually got a little damage, a little knock damage on it. So yeah, that was another reason why I rearranged everything and arranged it as it is. But yeah, uh like I say I was not comfortable with that. So a little while later I moved everything around again. Uh, I also attempted to do like a stream where I was doing a sculpting uh, of a figure and the actual video for this is incredibly short because I edit a lot out of it but um, again streaming with no, no glasses on And it's like I keep like my head keeps going off the side. And it's like I'm I still want to carry on doing these sculpting videos, but um I need to work out like how to position the camera properly because as you can see I'm I'm doing stuff on it and it's all off camera. Um some of it I managed to get in on there okay. But yeah, it's um, I was wasn't happy with 
how that was all laid out. I did change it a bit when I did a, another one, which I'm not sure if I've uploaded the second part. I don't think I have. No, I haven't uploaded the second second part, but uh, I can bring that up. I uh, have to open that in VLC Media Player. Uh, where are we? There we are. So it's the... Oh, I, yeah, I actually had a third part as well. I forgot about that one. So I have to do the set it to that. So it's got all three on there. So it was also it was Pride Month when I did this one, which is why my logo's got the pride flag and then like the trans colours in the bow. But yeah, I changed the layout a bit and had it a little bit better. But my mic position was crap. So again, I wasn't overly happy with it. Like I couldn't do much about the camera being blurry. So I need to learn a bit more about what I'm doing with that. And I think with this one, I even like keep messing up the, um, yeah, I, I mess up like the, the display on the screen or something. But yeah, this one here I started also as well doing some uh, scenery stuff as well. And again, not much talking and that with it. I didn't have many people watching the stream at the time, so like it didn't really have much to bounce off of anyone. Um, and it was also shortly after I moved in, I did this ration challenge. And I uploaded uh, uploaded videos for that. I did do a, sh a couple of streams in between where um, I was still trying to see if I could get people interested off of Twitch to to um, have a look at what I was doing. But that was raising money for um, refu um, Syrian refugees. But like those there, like some of them, uh, hang on, where's the one where I, sh here it is. There's one where I show people how to open a can of beans um, using a paving slab. But it's like I would, most of these videos is like where I'm talking, you know, just talking about how I'm feeling and um, what was, uh, you know, what it's like being on the ration challenge. And like a couple of them showing people like what I'm, what I'm was eating. But um yeah, there was one one point where I end up showing people how to open a can of uh, a can of whatever without the use of a tin opener. I say earlier that I'm a bit more confident not um and ah in so much. I mean, I was so drained when I did this. So I then, uh, yeah, I then go on about like other things that I've made and what I was uh, trying to do with the limitations I had with what was in the ration box. Um, but yeah, when it got to around about the 8th of July, you can see there, there's, uh, that was pretty much, that was the last 
actual thing that I uploaded to YouTube really, other than this year, which was just so like a clip from uh, a stream I uh, the stream I did on Thursday. But I've not uploaded anything since about the eighth of July because I mean you can see there like my my views and stuff on on YouTube are not really good. And I, when I look at my my follower count on YouTube. It's about, what, 85, something like that, roughly. And that's with like a year of, or nearly a year of a lot of work going into it. So it's like record, you know, me playing the game and recording the game, then editing it all and getting it ready to upload and uploading it and making a thumbnail and all that. There's a lot of effort to go through. And I was getting very little in return. I mean, not I'm not talking like you know, partnership monetization and all that. Just in general, I was getting I was getting very little out of it. So um I didn't realise how little I was getting out of it until I started taking Twitch more seriously. And uh very quickly I'd gone from about 15, 16 followers that I had on Twitch for like roughly about the same time as YouTube to suddenly I'm I'm like hitting like 50 and then 75 and then 100. And it's like I'm realizing the, that YouTube is not the platform for this, that the time for this being, a, you know, YouTube being a platform for this sort of content was um, it'd been and gone. Yeah, so... I've really been just heavily focused on Twitch and this is where I kind of like now go to my uh, my folder where I keep all my because I record all of my all of my streams um, and it's all there waiting for me to upload stuff to YouTube but um yeah, I haven't uploaded anything because I'm now at the point where like, I just want to, you know, only upload VODs and uh, I don't care how they do on YouTube. I'm not bothered with it anymore. It's just now just going to be basically a, you know, for my for my Twitch VODs. So I'm not going to be putting in the effort that I was onto YouTube anymore. And it's taken me a year to learn that I should have been focused on Twitch the whole time. And uh yeah, from now on, yeah, that, that's that's what I'm doing. YouTube is just gonna be purely for um purely for VODs at this point. I mean it might that might change in the future. Uh let me move that over to that screen. I don't need YouTube open anymore. So it's like I've got like all these folders where um move no do you want that to move oh, i'm gonna have to recenter that now aren't i i don't even know what that thing is uh that, there we go oh no i want sent one screen you can't see what i'm doing here is like i've moved something on um i've moved something on obs uh that is invisible to you and it's, uh, there we go, that's now centered again. That's what I wanted selected, so I could move that to there. So yeah, I've got all these folders of stuff which is yet to be uploaded onto YouTube. And it's all stuff that I've streamed. Like some of them are just like, I've only streamed like once. And again, like uh, I think this here is only an hour long. So yeah, 48 minutes. So it's when I when I did that, I was still in the mindset of like, you know, one hour recordings or one hour streams with YouTube as my primary thing with it. But you can clearly see it with my Final Fantasy 12 stuff where I've got these folders here uh, where I've got a one hour stream and then like I've separately recorded an outro. And I've done that with all three of these and then it's like I've got uh, 
this one here. Yeah, so this one here is again, it's it's the stream, but then I've like cut, I've done it in such a way that I would cut it and then put an outro on it. And then it's like shortly after that, I kind of gave up. In fact, it might have been it might have been there where I sort of gave up with it. Where um, yeah, so you can see there, like I've got the actual recording, and then I've got recorded a whole bunch of intros and outros. But then it was like about here, um, you know, a week after that, where I just didn't, I couldn't be bothered anymore. So I just like, I've just done it as, you know, all of the, this is all going to get uploaded as just a single VOD, basically. Because um, I think, I'm trying to think now whether, yeah. So at this point I was streaming Final Fantasy twelve. I would save it and then come out of it. And you can see there I've got like an outro screen, which was the end of my end of the stream. And then I'd replace that with what I recorded there as my outro for the for the YouTube video. So when I recorded those ones, I would record an hour, end the stream, uh, stream for an hour with recording it and, and uh, so on. But it was after that that I stopped and that that was when I realized that like yeah no I'm just going to concentrate on on Twitch and then when I've completed the game then I will upload the vods like onto YouTube but yeah that kind of brings me to basically where I am now where uh yeah I'm feeling a lot more confident in what I'm doing and I've got a little bit more equipment than what I had. Um, yeah, my monitors may not be brilliant. I've still got more I want to do behind me. Like I need to decorate the room. Um, I'll probably end up moving things around a little bit here because it's like I like my speakers and everything where they are, but I kind of feel that the camera angle might need to be. See if I can. I oh know I've got too much air behind it to move it. But it's like kind of thinking like, do I have like two cameras, like one in this position here and then one there? Because to be honest, like my skull symbol there, the, the main reason I got this in the background now is because otherwise it's just bare curtains there. And it just looks it doesn't look very good in the background. But I want more that for it. Yeah, I want uh, I don't like the blue there, which is how my sister painted this room when when it was her room. Uh, I really don't like that. I want that to. I, I intend to paper over that with um, with like a brickwork effect, and then it's something better for the floodlights to bounce off. So it will get there. Uh, I mean, same with anyone's stream. The backgrounds and stuff are constantly evolving. The stream is constantly evolving. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where I am in another year's time. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to end that there because I don't really have any more stuff there to talk about. Like everything that I've got recorded there is very, very recent. So obviously you would have all already have seen seen that. But yeah, we've gone through where I started and what I had to go through when I first started out. Uh, unfortunately, we did have someone kind of disrupt the stream with inappropriate stuff, but Hey, that happens. At least, uh, Lisa wasn't. A uh, Lisa wasn't a hate raid. I mean, um, yeah, I have got my special hate raid button, which thankfully I haven't had to use yet, but it's there waiting for when it does. And so, I'm going to be back on later on today at uh, nine p.m. British summer time. We're going to be playing some Phasmophobia to see what all these new updates are like. And I hope I can see you all then. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, we're going to go and do a raid now, if I can. Who's on? Uh, OK, we've got Clappy Von Trap. So I'm going to quickly give them a shout out. And then we're going to go and raid them. Uh, where's your button gone? There you are. So. Yeah. Going to go and see Clappy Von Trap. Now, Clappy Von Trap plays a variety of stuff, but mostly they play Sea of Thieves. And yeah, we're going to go and say hello to them. 
So hopefully this raid button works how I want it and actually ends my stream and stops the recording because it wasn't doing that last time. Again, thank you to Sloth8445 for the Prime Sub and thank you Maria Torino for the follow. I will see you all again soon. Bye.